And we're rolling the ball up and down the fingers. And into the palm. And the pads of the thumb. And the pinky. And across the knuckles. And let's do some fingers today. Let's start with the index finger and the thumb. And the middle finger. Ring finger. And pinky. Other hand, index. Ring. No, middle. <laughs> Ring. And pinky. And today I don't see any apartment, so let's bounce. Let's get a bounce. Pushing hands, catching, pushing heights, and maybe dribbling. Back. Three, two, one, and let's drop the wall on the ground. Assess how the feet are feeling. Step on the ball right in the middle of the foot and press down three times. Up to the knuckles. And scoot it across the knuckles. Bring the ball to the center of the foot and wiggle the toes. And then bring the ball to the crease between the knuckles and the toes and press the toes into the ball. Separate the toes. Press again. Middle of the foot wiggle. And scribble. Three, two, one, release, reassess other foot. One, two, three, pressing. Roll across. Middle of the foot and wiggle. Press the toes into it. Expand the toes. Press. Wiggle. And scribble. Two 
three, two, one, release, reassess. Get the bowl out of the way and shake the tree. Three, two, one, center. Nice deep breath and in, twist at the waist and swing the arm. And center. We're going to do the Michael Wynn energy grounding exercise. So we're just shifting weight from one leg to the other, one channel to the other. So we move the hands, palm facing in, up and down. Gradually expanding. Spreading that chi. Switching channels, switching the weight, coming up on our toes, perhaps, as we go to one side and then back on our heels. And comes up as our toes come up and down as we go down. And the other hand comes up, expanding. Pushing that energy into the earth. And centering. Let's march in place. Or jog. Slow jog. The head up, looking straight ahead. Today we're going to do the McGill Big Three. Also put in a neck exercise for strengthening the neck. And um, we'll have a variation on the bird dog if uh, for anybody who has uh, trouble being on all fours. Um, do whatever you want to get the heart rate going, including exactly what you're doing. Just be safe. Let's see, I think I'll sprint in five, four, three, two. Twenty. Thirty and two deep breaths. Interlace the fingers, raise the hands up over the head. Reach for the sky. If you can, bend back. Come back to center and bend in one direction.
and then the other. Back to center, lower the hands, push out at the chest, separating the scapula. Come down, one arm up top, the other one from behind, try to grab your fingers, otherwise use a strap or a cloth and pull in either direction. Switch the position on the hands. Same thing. And come on out and let's shrug. And roll the shoulders back. Format W, squeeze the shoulder blades together and hold, two, three, release. Back, two, three, release. Back, two, three, release. Back, two, three, and back, two, three. Extend the arms and rotate. And go the other direction. One palm is down, one palm is up, flip flop. Pick up speed. And bring one arm across the body. Pressing into the elbow. Then the other. Let's extend one arm and pull back on the fingers. Fingers down, pulling back. And flop it over, wiggle those fingers, make a fist, wiggle and make a fist. As you're pressing down just above the knuckle. So. Other hand, fingers up. And down. And flop. Let's rotate the neck. And the other direction. And nod. You get a shoulder. And tuck in the chin. Look in one direction. Drop the chin to the collarbone. Look up. Mm 
Back to center, chin is still tucked. Look the other way. Drop it. Look up. And let's do a side lunge. Other way. And come up and grab a stick. We get the quads for uh, the um, hamstrings first. Put the stick out in front. Bring your one foot forward about six inches from the stick. Lay the stick against your shoulder. Slide your hands down with your back in uh, spine in neutral, hinging at the waist. And lean back and either hold or come up on your heel and wiggle your foot back and forth to increase the stretch. And come on up. Sole of the foot against the stick to stretch the calf. And up. And then let's bring that leg up, pulling it by the shin, ankle, or toes. Stretch the quads. Uh, we're going to do some rolling in the after class today. I, I somehow got out of sequence, should have done that on Monday. And we're going to get the, um, going to roll on the quads with the uh, ball. So we're going to loosen those up good today. For those of you sticking around, foot down. Let's put it in front of the other foot, sole of the foot against the stick as you lean into it. No, 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 no. <laughs> Lean into it, raise the sole of your foot, which is about six inches from the stick as you hinge. Stretching the hamstring. And then come up and then put the sole of the foot against the stick and stretch the calf. And come back and then we'll pick that leg up and stretch that quad. Quads. And come down. And let's bring the stick in front and do some flip-flops through the original Ouya stick routine of Bob and Brad. And stop and make big circles in front. And reverse the circles. And go laterally in one direction. And then the other. Bring the stick behind the back in the crook of the elbows and twist at the waist. You can do a back extension, go ahead and do some. Do one. And 
and we're going to come back up. Tuck in the chin once again and peck like a pigeon. And then bring the stick up to the neck. And twist the body, keeping the head and hips facing forward. Bring the stick over the head and down below the waist and then back. You can hold it up here or if you can go behind. Do so. Bring it to the chest, push out. And then flop the wrists. Bring the stick in front. And we'll go up on the toes and back on the heels, holding for about a second. <clears throat> and let's do it 17 times today. Three. And 17. Excellent. Let's put the stick down. We're going to start with um, a McGill exercise for strengthening the neck. You want to form two fists with your hands and put them underneath your chin. Put your tongue on the roof of your mouth. And then press down on your fists. It is back. And release. Keep the fist there. We're going to do one more time. Ready? Press. And release. All right, I'll meet you on the floor. We're going to lie on our back. The sole of one foot is on the floor, the other leg is extended. We're going to be switching that back and forth. Your hands are underneath the small of your back, protecting the lumbar region. Your feet stay on the floor, your head, neck, and shoulders just come up right off the floor, maybe an inch or so, and come back down. We're going to hold for 10 seconds and then switch the position of the feet. And again, hold for 10 seconds. We'll do three reps on each side. Ready, up, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and down. Switch the feet and up, two, three, four, six, seven, and down, switch, and up,
and, and down, switch feet, and up. And down, switch, up. And down, and last one, switching the feet. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and down. And take a couple of deep breaths while you're on your back. Now, most of us are going to do a bird dog, but if you have trouble doing bird dogs or being on your knees, here's an alternative uh, that we've uh, done before. You want to put your hands straight up in the air, your legs are 90 degrees. And as we uh, do the bird dogs and extend the left arm and the right foot, you're doing the same thing just in the other direction. And we're going to hold for 10 this time, if you can. If you can't hold that long, just hold for as long as you can. And of course, you could just do the legs or just do the arms as we'll do with the bird dog. All right, so here's the bird dog. Hands and knees, palms under the shoulders. We're going to lift the left hand and the right foot and hold 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 4, 3, 2, 1, and back. Right hand, left foot. Again, just lift the foot or the hand if you have trouble lifting both. 6, 7, 8, nine, 10, and back. Left hand or right foot, nine, eight. And back, right hand, left foot. And back, and less two, nine, eight. Six, two, one, right hand, left foot. Good. Come on your side, take a couple of breaths. We're going to do some side planks with any modification that you might want to utilize. Elbow underneath your shoulder, arm out at 90 degrees. You can come up just on your knees and hold for a count of 10, or extend your legs, and your feet can either be stacked on top of each other or one foot in front of the other on the ground. So pick your position and let's start. 10, 9, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and we'll come down. We'll do the same side three, uh, three times and then switch. Ready? 1, 2, 3. And down. And if you've been doing it with your legs extended and you feel, all right, I'm a little tired, then do it on your knees. Or if you want to give yourself a little bit more of a progression, you can raise your arm in the air. Eight, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down. And now we'll switch sides. Take a nice couple of deep breaths. Choose your position and let's go. 10, 9. And down. And up. And down. 
and up. And down, excellent. We'll get up and we're gonna do the Leonard Orr breathing exercise. Um, again, this is four breaths in and out through the nose and then one deep breath in and out. And we're gonna do that four times. And whoops. And here we go. 20 connected breaths. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in. Out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in. Okay, enjoy that for a second as you rub those hands together, cultivating chi. And four on the chi ball. Letting it dance us around. Wherever it wants to go. Uh, centering. Two breaths. And we open our hearts. Totally relaxed. And hold and send it out. And center, two breaths. And bring down Heavenly Chi. And we'll go down, gather some up. And Namaste. Thank you, Tom. Hey, you're welcome, Mitchak. Thank you, all good. Oh, too late. All right.
So, Thanks, Don. Hey, Don, how you doing? Okay. Gotta, gotta go below there. Good. Good to see you. And Suzanne, hi. Sorry. Um, let's get off this screen. Ah, there we are. Okay. Um, yeah, we're gonna do some rolling. Sorry, I got out of sequence. So uh, we're gonna start with the ball and a roller after that. And we're gonna do the legs and hips today. And uh, back, core, whatever, lower body. So let's take a ball. I'll meet you on the ground. And the quads as promised is where we're gonna start with the ball. Um, if you got a choice of balls, you might want to start with a uh, softball because this could be pretty tender. You want to use your elbows and your feet to control the amount of pressure. Put the ball just above the kneecap and then roll back and forth, up and down. Trying to find a tender spot. And if you find one and you can tolerate it, lean into it. Or just keep rolling. There's a spot. I'm just going to lean into it for about 20 seconds. And I'm going to kick my leg a few times in that spot. And I'm going to go to the other leg. <clears throat> Same thing. Rolling up and down. <clears throat> Looking for that tender spot. Or just rolling. There's a spot, yikes, holding. Breathing into it. And kicking. All right, let's come up <clears throat> and grab a roller. And we're gonna sit on it and lean back. So the roller is on the top of the hips, right below the uh, sacrum, lower spine. And we're gonna start by leaning in one direction and doing four circles with both legs, the knees together in one direction and four in the other. and hold, breathe into that, go to the other side, and again, four circles in one direction, and four in the other.
breathe into it and hold. Come back to center. You might, I got to reconfigure the roller so that it's sitting right. And we're going to do eight figure eights with our knees. You might want to start going in one direction and then reversing it. And then stop and take a nice deep breath. And do some bicycles. Reverse. And put the feet on the ground, slide the roller out. And hopefully quads and lower back are feeling a little bit better, a little bit looser. I don't know what we did today, Richard, but your light is really good. 